I sat on this bench in my mum and dad's garden when I was told the news over the phone. I've not sat at this bench since, just because it's a bit of a trigger. Just felt like really dirty and like was taking a bath. Sounds ridiculous, but like four times a day. And nothing was really getting rid of that feeling. At the time, I didn't really feel like I wanted to be here like physically. I definitely struggled with mental health, anxiety, depression, and then more recently, PTSD. I didn't really see a future. I think that just comes from the place of feeling like I was gonna die. Art has definitely allowed me to process some of the stuff that I was experiencing regarding HIV. The reason I started making work around HIV is I was just sick of being made to feel dirty just because I'm HIV positive. On Grindr, when I would disclose my status, straight away people would block me. Other people would call me a slut or I would just become really fetishised. It just, it just reinforced and brought to light that actually a lot of the stigma comes from the gay community itself. It made me feel like I didn't deserve to be in a relationship. And then I met my boyfriend and just felt really accepted and really loved and just had a bit more of self-confidence. My boyfriend was just really clued up on HIV and knew how to protect himself, but also protect me as well. There's no reason not to get with someone just because they're HIV positive. People on effective treatments are undetectable, which means untransmittable. I take one tablet a day and I'm going to live a long and healthy life. Recently, I've started doing workshops with youth groups across Liverpool and we have been casting hard-boiled sweets which are replicas of the medication that I take each day. It allows them to access some really important information. I just felt I can use my experience in a positive way. I want to live in a world where people aren't ashamed to be HIV positive, where people can talk publicly about being HIV positive, and in the near future, hopefully there will be zero transmissions of HIV because we will actually be able to keep having these conversations. I feel like I've got a future again now. You know, I feel, I feel like my work's going really well. I'm in a really good relationship and the future is exciting to me now.